Slow play, slow play, slow play. Vixie was just about to say something, and then <laughs> just instantly came up. What did you say? Just lurking. All right, all right. He likes, he likes to watch. And also listen. <laughs> he likes to watch with his ears. Just, just don't, don't pay attention. To Go to the fucking volume mixer. All right. Now, when I say Alt Tab, did you, did you think that I wanted to just go right back into the game windows? I get a little temperamental with that sometimes. Whatever. All right. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay. Um. Volume mixer. Let me turn up Civ just a bit more. Okay. <laughs> So let's see what we got. We got the game capture, which is capturing. Um, how about just switch it to civilization six? Um, okay. Don't capture the cursor. Anti cheek. Okay. All right. All right. So. Uh, oh. Hold on, we may be about to have a breakthrough. I hope. Then well, we can just get this shit on with. Uh, okay, we're still, this is still working. I don't know, like, there's someone talking, but I don't know if it's feedback from your stream or it's actually you, but really quiet. It's feedback. Oh, we got it. Later. Roger. <laughs> From the first stirrings of life beneath water. Uh the oh. great beasts of the stone. Age, Norway. To man Trombone. taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Man, now they look like they are greatest horrible. Quest. From this early cradle of civilization on All right. towards the stars. Yes, I'm playing the military. Of science and religion is a delicate balancing act. But one that you have mastered, Saladin. Military your quest for knowledge French is noble, and your people have <laughs> respect for you. But you need not rush into the unknown. Given time, the answers to life's most puzzling questions will find their way back to Arabia. So here we are, the classic, like, uh, ten minutes loading screen. Yeah, it's back it's like, from its appearance in Civ uh, Five. <laughs> really just an iconic feature, you can't get rid of it. I mean, base, it has to load, like, fucking... <laughs> this 6x6 six six It's like map twice right the there. visual fidelity of Doom. I mean, you basically need two computers to run this game. It's, it's a technological achievement. 
So I put a uh, turn timer on 60 seconds. It might be a little short, but I followed uh, Link Slayer's advice. Okay. Wait, wasn't we'll that see if that was a good idea. Wasn't that just a joke? Maybe. <laughs> okay, how do I... How do, how do you move? Why is mine even red? Oh my god, I hate that. Okay, why, uh, why, why can't I move them? Why can't I move my settlers? How do I tell them to move? How do I right, tell them? You click them and then you right click somewhere else. Oh my god, 60 seconds is way too short. This is gonna be crazy, you got like... 10 seconds left. Oh my gosh, it's late. <laughs> that explains it, doesn't it? Um, oh, I got so many regrets. We should just start another game and pick the same guys. We probably should. Yeah, I'm gonna exit to main menu. You're the last remaining human. All right. Uh, exit to main menu. Sorry, that wasn't very nice. I'm gonna just take off the uh, game timer entirely. I'm gonna trust you to not waste too much time. I won't. I generally don't. So no turn timer. Okay. It's too bad, actually. I got the perfect civilization. Well, not perfect, but my favorite. Generally, I like coastal civilizations. I also have a thing for water wheels, so that's, that's the kind of person I am. Uh, okay, just a second. Here we go. Look at you act like you need to practice your English and basically speak the southern accent. It's not as easy. Like, when I speak in French, words come like, flow like a river, but right now, it's a struggle. Hmm. It's a real struggle. I bet you didn't understand. Okay. Okay, cool. So it is working. Alright. I don't see my guy. That's weird. You don't see your guy? What do you mean? Like, the character I was playing as. Uh, yeah. Maybe it was uh, some pre order DLC. <laughs> and the game accidentally found it because it's actually included in the file, so it's like, hey! Get it, get it. I know, I found it, I found it. Let's try oh, a military game. That's an amazing name. Harald Hardrada. Can't even say it. You gotta say it with 90% more screen, otherwise it doesn't kill you. I think your name is even better. Of life you guys are just salad. Yeah. The great salad. beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking you know, his I first really upright like steps, of, um, you have come far. Uh, now begins your greatest quest. Arabian Empire being a combination from this of the early science, cradle of civilization kind of they on towards the stars. Mm -hmm. for the longest time. The marriage of science and religion is a delicate balancing like act, <laughs> but one that uh, you have mastered. Get out of there, Orkems. Your quest for knowledge is noble, and your people have a deep respect for you. Oh, Be great. Do not rush that is through it. It's already two loading screens. Time, huh? the answers to life That's already two loading screens. Off to a good start. Their way yeah, back to Arabia. Uh, there we go. I know, like, I, when I first heard Sean do this, I was like, yeah, I don't know, is he a better option than Pascal? And then I played Sith 5 recently, and the dude was like, rrr, rrr, and I'm like, oh my gosh, where did you learn to voice, it's like, because some of his lines he'll say with a, a pretty good amount of, a, like, gravitas and shit, um, and some of his lines are just terrible, it's like he's not even trying, he just reads the lines. Okay. Tribal village destroyed? Oh no! Okay. You seriously completed your first turn already? 
Yeah. And you not found your village or something? No, I, there's a coast right there, and I just rather found it by that. Okay, okay. Oh, look, there's a tribal village. What is this? Okay, uh, go here. Alright. Uh, can we found so that's this? weird. I can see the top of the map right now, but I'm not in snow. So the layout's a little weird. I don't know. Um, I find that often, but sometimes you get like normal looking ones, and then sometimes you just get fucking weird shit. I do like the weird creatures on the map, but I don't know. I mean, like, okay, let's see. Now the game's telling me this isn't a good place to found a city, but the game can. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, really? Villagers share right. the secrets I, of their well organized community. Alright. We'll just have to bring them into the fold using swords. Okay. So now I can sail. You know the tragedy of this is this this ocean body is probably gonna be like a puddle, and that's gonna be like we're in the middle of the fucking uh, land. That's all we get. Maybe so. I, I chose random, so it could be any map type. So uh, yeah. it doesn't have to be logical or anything. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, let's uh, just direction. rename my city. Yeah, you're gonna have to um, just be a little bit patient with me, just because like I fucking. I know you're just starting off. You have a lot more options, like right off the bat, in Civ Six compared to Civ Five. So the the start of the game is a little more rough. Okay. And, oh my god, the barbarians The barbarians are something else. Oh, okay. uh, you're gonna see when you find them. Oh no, um... Who the heck is this in the, in the chat room? It's frustrating. Oh, I changed my city's name. I wonder if that's just some rando. Maybe it is. I don't care either way, but I'm curious. Alright, should I build a builder, or should I build a monument first? Eh, I guess probably the monument. Alright, choose research. Um, okay. Go with sail. Uh, no, no, we should go with. I guess. Okay, let's see. okay, I'm gonna have to Google this because I don't find a tab to rename your city. I don't want to be stuck with Norwegian names. Norwegian? Uh, Norwegian. Norwegian. It's, it's, there's gotta be a way to do it. Okay, let's see. Um, let's. let's uh, oh, the game is waiting for you. Fine. Be that way, game. Uh, open the game menu. Can't. Okay. What? You can change your city names, can't you? Hmm. Well, uh, Google's telling me otherwise. But it's a feature they plan to add in a patch. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck, guys? Come on! Like, it's a feature we plan. Okay, is it is it that hard to finish a game before you release it? <laughs> I'm really getting it's curious super hard. about this. Like, I don't want to sound like a dick, but it's like we plan on adding changing city names later. It's like. It, was that that hard to implement? Or did you just want to hit a specific date and you were just like, well, I don't know. But we or didn't, they didn't think it was important and they were like, ah, oh, who cares? No, like, uh, my only thing is like, how long would it have taken, I guess? I don't know. Whatever. It's just, <laughs> it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, okay. Yeah, mm. things are about as slow as I remember. It's like, I guess I could explore with my warriors. I don't know. 
Yeah, you, you should probably. Like, if you've got a barbarian spot nearby, you gotta find it. Otherwise, you'll be swarmed in the early game. Uh, I'm not sure if I should go for a granary or for a builder. Uh, probably uh, builder. I don't know. Yeah, I think the game speed's probably gonna be fine. Okay, Ooh, so crap. Uh, you've probably got your first policies, or you'll get them soon. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so the way uh, culture works in Civ Six is very similar to uh, science. So you got these civics that you research. Like, mm -hmm. for example, I've got craftsmanship or foreign trade. And they allow you to have different boosts or craft different units. So it's like a different science that uses culture on top of a city expansion being also based on culture. Gotcha. Alright. So I found some crabs. The problem is not that they're on the other side from my city, so... You don't want crabs, though. Vessels oh, large dear. may venture more. Barbarians. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Um, kill the ass. I still haven't found a barbarian village right now, and it's scaring the shit out of me. I it's I hate barbarians. I really do. Like. They're just the worst. They're so unbearable to deal with. Well, the main problem is that it's in the early game, right? Yeah. Like, late game barbarians don't matter at all, and eventually they all just disappear because they're so powerless compared to the main civilizations. But in the early game, they got, like, lance warriors, and you're still with your club doing, like, next to no damage. Yeah, but to be fair, like, there's not really... You get a bonus. When you fight them. Gallery. Um, okay, let's see. I can't make anything else, so I should probably make builders. I guess. Um, uh, it says I should make settlers. All right. How about first? I got a scout here, which means I'm probably eventually gonna have to deal with this, so I might as well just make some slingers. Yeah, slingers are like the the earliest game version of archers. I don't think there was an, equi an equivalent in Civ 5. No. They're pretty good. There wasn't, I'm pretty sure. I think archers are the first you get. Also, a thing you might have noticed, uh, on the left there are these objectives. Mm -hmm. Under uh, science and civics and you get a boost that's like equivalent to half the research time if you complete that objective and you don't have to complete it before starting a research you can get it on their way and then as soon as you complete that objective you'll get your boost all right so that's a neat way like even cultures that uh, the civilizations that aren't focused on science or culture can catch up to speed yeah that's nice um, it'll be interesting to see what they add as time goes on. I, I get the feeling that, uh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff patched in as time goes on. I don't know. It already feels like a pretty complete game. Uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what they're, they're gonna do with the DLC. Uh, yeah, of course. Um... I fucking hate barbarians. Like you're just still fighting them? They're still standing there and I'm waiting on uh, your turn. I've only gotten to attack them once so far. It's like scouts, so I imagine they would have gone down quicker, but I guess not. So now I know I ha they're around here somewhere and I have to go make more warriors to deal with them, otherwise they'll fuck me up. 
<sighs> yeah, and the thing that makes them particularly dangerous in Civ 6 is I feel like their production rate is significantly faster than in Civ 5. That's, that's so weird to me. It's like, hey, you know the worst part of the first game? Well, not the <laughs> first game, but like of Civ. Oh, oh, I, I met a best. scout from Man is Brazil. The noblest of all animals. That's neat. Separated from law and justice. Still not seeing any barbarians, though. Okay, let's see. Oh my god. I could either go for writing and start getting science boost as soon as possible. Oh, or fuck it, dude, it'll do. Now animal got... husbandry. Now I've got friggin' two of them. Two villages? No, two barbarians coming at me. Oh, okay, just the units. Yeah, that doesn't sound too bad. Let's see. You already gave me good coins, like, pretty fast. Compared to how much the units cost? <laughs> uh, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I don't have no What do you get when you get cattle? Do you get bonus anything else except a bit of gold and a bit of happiness? I'm gonna go with riding. I'm gonna go with riding. Get that science as soon as possible. <laughs> but see, that's what I mean when I say that there's a lot of choices in the early game. I had like 10 researches available to me. Well, both barbarians ran away, so I guess I'm okay for now. <sighs> but of course, they'll come back. Well, that's good. Gosh, do I hate barbarians. <laughs> that's such a pain oh. in the ass, because now I can't go out and found a second city. Maybe. I might just do that. I'm gonna go with this one, even if it's not efficient idea. Hmm. Many choices and not a single barbarian in sight. That is really weird. It's like you're gonna go. Over it, the it, it's perfect for me, but it's suspicious. Yeah, you're gonna go over the horizon. There's gonna be like a million of them just massing at the gates. <laughs> you're gonna be like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> and there's oh, Torch. There Brazil again. There's Torch. I thought Clay chat. must feel happy in the good Potter's hand. Is he on Twitch or something? Torch? No, he's a uh, Discord. Not no, getting okay. in the main chat like a coward. He's watching stuff with Zab. Yeah, who cares? It's all Every stupid mix stuff anyway. By exchanging. Uh, I'm gonna go for rice. Yeah, so I told you about that already, but uh, just in case you forgot, the... What? The workers in the Civ 6 don't work exactly the same. They've got uh, three chargers and everything they do, they do it instantly. Alright, that's good, I guess. Just depends on your... Ooh, what's this mysticism? I do like the uh, the kind of filter they put over an environment in the fog of war, so that it looks like a drawn map. I think that's a yeah. real nice touch. I do like that actually. It's good. 
Um, and it's like, you know, on, on the one hand, I guess you could argue it's a little bit eh, but on the other hand, um, I mean, I think it looks good. And, uh, it, like, it just kind of has a nice value to it. And I also kind of like how it keeps you in the dark, which is kind of yeah. realistic if you think about it, because it's like, this is before you get technology to see stuff. Constantly. Exactly, and like, like in Civ 5, when you get far enough in the game, uh, you get radars, and then all the fog of war just goes away. Yeah. So it's not going to be, like, something that doesn't fit with modern age.